Friends and Lovers is the baby. It's um, it's been a tedious, um, very um, rewarding journey as far as creating an album, but that's what I do. I make albums, and I want to just give you a single, a video, then the second single follow up, and then there's an album. I want to feel like people belong to this. So when they see the show and they really grasp the narrative, when you press play in the album, it's like you're watching a movie. You can feel like you're there. You know you're in that relationship or you've been in that relationship or you wanted to break out of that relationship, run towards your dreams, run away from fear, all of these things. And you feel like that when you listen to the album. So that for the most part is what I've been working on. It's work. It's not just... I don't know, I think people just press play and think it was that simple, like you just come up with these things. Like I had to live and breathe this, whether that was the heartache, whether that was getting over it, whether that was lust, love, fuck, love, whatever it was, I had to be that. And for me, that's what I've been enjoying the most is living it. I've realized, especially being a touring artist, that you don't choose the follow up, the people do. Because according to my show, Your Hands from the first album should have been a single. You couldn't have told me it didn't win a Grammy or an Oscar by the way the crowd reacts to it. So I promised myself this go round, everyone will get everything. You know, I think I think with the first album, that's what I didn't do. I kind of just said, okay, Far Away ran by itself and I didn't give anything else on my end. And I'll take that responsibility with this one. I'm accountable for what Friends and Lovers does and this album's gonna do everything. I have to make a movie surrounding this album. Everything's gonna have a video. Everything will have um, a story behind it. It really is the sequel to what Late Nights and Early Mornings was. Late Nights and Early Mornings resulted in some Friends and Lovers. We've been working together. This is like our, what, seventh year. So we went to Hawaii just before the end of last year, a couple of weeks and Got to, you know, really cram in with the production team that he's got going now, Focus and the squad. So we've been working, so you'll get to slowly see the work. Um, <laughs> is this for his project? Is this for you? So many things. It's for me, it's for them, it's for theys, it's for top secret things I'm not about to say. So, yeah. Detox was a title that was thrown around so many years ago. So there's so many other things in the works for you to not have to be concerned about anyone detoxing. It sounds like a fitness center now. No, you'll see something else. Kanye and myself have been, and that's another person that's been, I've been rocking with for the past, yeah, 10 years. Yeah, 10 years it would be. We went on tour. Um, it was myself, Gangstar, um, Talib Kweli, and Common. And Kanye would come out with Talib to get by, and we'd sit on the tour bus and have his backpack on, and we'd recite lyrics from Mace Harlem World back to back, like the whole album from beginning to end. And yeah, that's yeah, that's 11, 12 years ago, and it's uh, yeah, years later we worked together and. It's been cool. It's just cool. I'm just cool with really cool, excellent people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you guys just had, had been back in the studio recently? Um, Kanye and myself have collaborated on a couple of things recently for what? I don't know what it's for, but there's a couple of things floating around and I don't know. You'll hear them soon, okay. I'm sure.